All right, we are getting another check on your forecast. If you take a look at this, take a look at that. That's what it looks like uh, over central Indiana right now. Just nothing but fog out there, Kelly. It's a pretty low cloud deck. Yeah. It wasn't quite as bad as it was this morning, so we are looking down into those clouds, but uh, yeah. that cl cloud deck is lifting a right. bit. However, mm -hmm. this morning when I was coming in at 2 o'clock this morning, I stopped in Fishers and I took a picture of yeah. one of our many roundabouts that we have, and here is a shot of the foggy conditions we had this morning. It was down to less than a quarter of a mile in many locations this morning. Thankfully, the rain has allowed all of that to mix out, and and right now we're at two miles of visibility in Indianapolis, one mile of visibility in Kokomo and two in Bloomington. Now we still have this heavy rain that's been wrapping around this area of low pressure. Strong storms to our south and portions of Kentucky, many severe thunderstorm warnings, even tornado warnings out of that. For us, it's just been mainly rain. We've had a few rumbles of thunder. We do have some heavier rain that's trying to make its way out of west central Indiana, pushing off to the east. So rainy afternoon indeed and temperatures starting to slowly fall. We're at 45 degrees right now in Indianapolis. We've been holding steady in those upper to mid 40s all morning long and now we're going to start to really see them changing as the winds take a shift out of the north as this area of low pressure continues to spin counterclockwise. We'll keep the rain around here 2 o'clock this afternoon. This will slowly push off to the east and we'll also see the rain going away with it as well. Rain potential could see around one inch of rain. We've already had over seven tenths of an inch of rain so far in Indianapolis. We could add on another in, um, half an inch to that if we do have the rain that will continue to fall throughout the afternoon down into the upper 30s by early evening and then we'll really start to see those temperatures falling as we go into the evening hours because the wind will start to increase out of the north. Gusts will be around 30 miles per hour and that northerly wind will allow the temperatures to cool down. We'll also start to see some lake effect snow showers developing as we have that long fetch of Lake Michigan and that wind coming off of the lake at out of the north will allow that snow effect to really develop throughout the morning hours tomorrow. So it could be a little bit dicey out there on the roadways tomorrow morning. 32 degrees will be the low in Muncie as well as Indianapolis 34 in Columbus. And as we go through tomorrow, we are going to see the snow showers around uh, throughout the day tomorrow as we still are going to have that northerly wind, strong winds throughout the day, gusty. It's going to be blustery. As far as snow potential goes, not expecting much, maybe a little dusting here and there, but the ground is still very warm, so it's going to be tough for it to stick. Wind chill values will be back into the teens and low 20s tomorrow afternoon, so it is going to be a blustery Friday with a high of only 34 degrees. For the weekend, sunny and cold, high of 37. We get back into the mid 40s on Sunday. It will be breezy. Then we're tracking mild temperatures again back into the low 50s for the start of the work week.